It's the cutest bed and room I've ever been in. That's not so normal for a typical house. Welcome to beautiful Belfast, Ireland. Look, it's, I'm squinting. It's sunny in Ireland in February. This is amazing. And what's even better is I'm staying on that boat right there. No, not that one. No, no not that one. The, the barge. I'm staying on a beautiful blue barge. If you're new to the channel, I'm Mike. The channel's called Downy Live. Let's get started. Look, it's my first Irish rainbow. I found the lucky charms. Okay, so here's the marina. And the reason I chose to stay here in a boat is because I'm coming to a conference in this building tomorrow. So I figured why stay in a standard hotel when I could stay in somewhere very unique and still like almost closer than any hotel. We're going to there. So, this is the inside. Okay, let's start in the galley. Remember, we're on a boat, so it's not a kitchen, it's a galley. Some cooking necessities, cutlery. It has a mini fridge. Here you have your toaster oven. We have a little like hot pot thing if you need to cook anything. If I'm honest, I'm probably not gonna cook much. All here, plates, bowls, everything else you need there. It's so cute. I'm just so surprised and impressed at the size of the windows in this place. And look how, look how big it is. Okay, let's save upstairs for last. It's obviously the nicest. Come on downstairs, we'll go check out the bedrooms. This is just like the hot water tank kind of uh, system stuff. We don't need to worry about that. Into the washroom. Okay, first thing to note, toilet, fully functioning, normal toilet. It does sound weird. Uh, I'll show you that in a second, but basically, let's say you do your business. When you flush, there's actually a mechanism in there that's gonna sort of chew it up and help disintegrate it to go down into the boat's storage hall where it, it'll just help break it down. It's not going out into the water or anything like that, but rather than sitting in a large lump, so you can hear by the flush, very normal. That's not so normal for a typical house, but on the boat, again, that's the system doing its business and we'll just let it go. But for me, it's all about the details. Look how cute that is. This is probably what surprised me most about the bathroom. The size of the shower is huge. Again, I'm six feet, shower heads above me. I just I just know that boat bathrooms can be tiny. So this is awesome. Okay, moving along, lots more to see. This is it, bunk beds, not a lot of space, but again, we're on a boat. It's all in the details, little, little whale tail hooks. So they are pretty snug bunk beds, definitely more for kids than for adults, but you know, if someone was just crashing for a night, why not? But every bedroom in here, and even in the shower I noticed has an opening window. So if you get too hot in the middle of the night, crack that bad boy open, as well as every room has a heater. So again, if you get too cold, we are in Ireland after all, in February. Finally, the master bedroom. It's the cutest bed and room I've ever been in. Look at this view. Listen to how high my voice got. Double bed, cozy, comfortable. Again, window that opens. Couldn't be happier. Okay, it's time to go upstairs. So this, this is the show. This, okay, so they've got the heater on right now. So it's so warm, so cozy, but this is exactly my kind of cabin feel. Wood walls, but big windows. Just surrounded by Marina, Harbor, Belfast, water. <laughs> Embarrassing dance moment. Moving on. As we come around, this corner has your egg hammock type thing. See it swaying, I haven't touched it, but it's because we are on a boat, we're constantly swaying a little bit, and since that's hanging, it's just a reminder that we are always moving. This corner, just a cozy little breakfast nook, somewhere to sit down, eat, or get some work done. Now we're gonna turn around. Ooh, yeah, our own patio. I mean, could this be any nicer for hosting? 
We have all Belfast through there, all the industry area of Belfast over there, and, and that beautiful building is the, Tit the Titanic Museum. Lots of other cute boats around us. Personally, I, I like that one. And that one there. Is this thing hold me? Okay, it looks pretty. It's actually not that comfortable. Okay. Well, I mean, that's about it for the tour. There's, it's not a mansion. There's not a lot to see. Oh, actually, it's got a projector. How awesome is this place for hosting? Well, I'm here for a conference, sort of a YouTuber's summit. So I'm hoping to network, hoping to meet some people, hoping to make some internet friends. So I should be editing. But if you don't think I'm gonna sit here and watch three episodes of something, then you're clearly mistaken. Also, please, I need more Netflix recommendations. Drop them in the comments. What are you watching right now? Look at this. I made the right choice. I feel so good about this. This place, it just has so much character. Rather than staying at a hotel, I am paying a little bit more, but it's totally worth it. You can uh, hear it raining outside now, so I'm back. I'm gonna enjoy my last night in this beautiful boat. Please let me know what you guys think of this. Is it, is it too much to stay on a boat or is it awesome because it's in the middle of the harbor right in the heart of town? I need to, I need to tone it down here. I am tired trying to get over jet lag, trying to stay up. Clearly, Netflix time. What are you watching? Let me know. I'm Mike, the channel's Downy Live. I don't know where I'm going next, but I know I want you there with me. Thanks for watching. Yeah. <sighs>